Madden Football is the home of Super Bowl 57, and this historic matchup is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Kansas City Chiefs and the Minnesota Vikings. All that and more coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. We count down to kick off in what should be an epic one here, as it'll be the AFC champion Kansas City Chiefs taking on the champions from the NFC, the Minnesota Vikings. Brandon Gauden alongside Charles Davis. And Charles, for these Kansas City Chiefs, they, of course, were Super Bowl champions three years ago. The win over the Niners in Miami. They fell to the Bucks in Tampa a couple years back. They had the blown lead in the AFC title game against Cincinnati last year. And now they're back, making their third trip to the big game in four years. And their recent history only increases the urgency to try and win another Super Bowl title with this group. Meanwhile, the Minnesota Vikings are back in the big game for the fifth time in franchise history. But we all know one thing has eluded them all these years. And that's an actual Super Bowl victory, partner. They're 0-4 in their previous visits. Super Bowls 4, 8, 9, and 11. And boy, they had some great teams too, didn't they? Bud Grant was their head coach. Fran Tarkenton, a quarterback. Alan Page and the Purple People Eaters on defense. They were all Hall of Famers. And don't forget Paul Krause. He's a very proud member of that great secondary they had. So we're going back more than 40 years since their last visit. You think the state of Minnesota is excited about this one? I know they are. They're ready to get this one going. The Vikings offense coming out for the first time and in his fifth season leading this crew, coming off his third career Pro Bowl nod, Kirk Cousins. And despite his long and productive career as a starter, he had never made it out of the divisional round prior to this run. Now he has the Vikings on the precipice of achieving the franchise's first Super Bowl in its fifth attempt. They start the drive with Cook. Oh, he shifts past him. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive. First down. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at them and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all. Challenging that defense. And on that go-around, the offense won the challenge. They run again on first down. Cook, and he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41-yard line. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it, and be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. From the 41, Cousins. And that's complete to K.J. Osborne. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 42. 17 yards is the pick up there for number 17. So now first and 10 in Chiefs' territory at the 42-yard line. Off the play fake, Cousins. And the Chiefs are going to get him. It was Frank Clark that time who got in there to bring him down. And it certainly took too long to set up play action. That gave the pass rush time to get home for its first sack of the game. For their sake, they may start to think about the quick game and leave play action alone for a little while. Got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. Another try after the first down sack. Cousins. That's to Cook out of the backfield. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area that they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. Let's it fly for Thielen. And it's intercepted at the goal line. 
Picked up by Justin Reed. And the Chiefs are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. They may have thrown the interception, obviously less than ideal, but I think they also sent a message that they're going to push the ball downfield in this one. Yeah, not afraid to take their shots right away, huh? What was that, like a 9-9-9 nine, nine, nine route? 9 meaning go? Just went ahead and went for it. Didn't work out so well because it certainly appeared the defense was prepared. But I'm with you. Okay, so it didn't work this time. Doesn't mean we won't try it again later. Well, the Chiefs offense now ready to go to work for the first time, led by Patrick Mahomes, the 2018 NFL Most Valuable Player. You can't help but continue to marvel at how well this man's career has gone so far. Now in his fifth season's KC starter, he's never missed a conference title game, and he's taking the field in his third Super Bowl. Simply dominant, it's easy to envision him being one of the top quarterbacks for many years to come. They'll run with the third-year man, Clyde Edwards-Alaire. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Not the kind of gain that we'll go absolutely crazy for, but it's the kind of gain that you need to have when you're running back in the NFL. And Clyde Edwards-Alaire, with that low center of gravity and strength, he's going to get those tough, gritty yards for you when necessary. On second and seven, Mahomes. This one complete to me, Cole Hardman. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Well, Mahomes finding his burner, Hardman, for the KC first. Mahomes on the give to Edwards Alaire. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. Seven yards on the pick up there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. From the 39, Mahomes. Now a swing pass, it's Edwards Alaire. And he'll be brought down right at the 45 yard line. Six yards to pick up and that's a first down. One of my old teammates called me the other day when he was watching the game, he's like, man, trying to watch an NFL game and trying to account for their passing game? That's difficult. And just when you think you get everything covered, here comes a back out of the backfield. And in this case, he picks up the first down. On first down, Mahomes finding Edwards Alaire once again. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. Well, it seems pretty clear on this opening drive that they want to get him involved, not only, Charles, in the run game, but in the pass game as well. And he can be such a weapon for them when they utilize him this way. And, partner, you know I'm a veteran, right? In other words, that means a little bit older. <laughs> Back in my day, we used to call a guy like this a workhorse, except he carried the ball all the time. Now they get it to him a variety of ways, but you're right. They want to run their offense through him. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. It's not a huge breakaway run, but if your starting running back finishes the game with averages of five or six yards per touch, you'll take that every single time. Second and five now. Mahomes under a heavy rush, and down he goes. They bring a man off the corner that time, and he gets home for a loss of six. But just not much a quarterback can do there, CD. The pressure was in his face almost instantaneously, led to a very quick sack. Yeah, that's one where you turn to your lineman and say, uh, guys, can I get a little help here? And you have to ask politely, because remember, they're blocking for you the entire game. But as a quarterback, you've also got to have the clock running in your head when you need to get rid of the football. But this time, he had no chance. They were on him instantly. He's got his man, Valdez Scantling. Touchdown! Marquez Valdez Scantling with a first touchdown of this Super Bowl and a long one at that. And the Chiefs are on the board first here in this Super Bowl. And I'm sure for these guys, a break from the conference championship in the Super Bowl seems so long to get out here and score that first touchdown has to take some tension out of the game. Oh, I love the point you just made about the gap between. Think about the pressure that is built in the interim to come out and get the first points in the Super Bowl. 
Fantastic for the team. Extra point by Butker is on target. And it's now a 7-0 game. So that drive goes eight plays. And it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Kenetawagu now out of his end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Now the Vikings offense gets set to take over here. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and 10. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. That's complete to Justin Jefferson. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. But no matter your experience level as a quarterback, you throw an interception on that first drive, maybe a little shaken up. Nice response there to get their first first down. I think you make an excellent point. I don't care who you are. You throw an interception, it's going to get to you a little bit. But the ones that we've seen that are the best, you never notice it. They don't come to the bench, throw their helmets, they don't do any of that. They just go back out the next drive and act like it never happened. And that's what we're seeing here. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Here's Cousins. His throw incomplete. I'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one, forced the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Freeze up your guys elsewhere. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. Cousins now. Open man is Osborne. He's got it. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Good work after the catch. Gets him 15 and a first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. First down, here's the run with Cook. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain. Second down. They suspected that it was a power play up the middle coming at them, and boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Throwing his Cousins. Setting up the screen for Cook. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. Now on third down, an extra DB out there for the Chiefs. To throw, Cousins. That's complete to the receiver, Thielen. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Back to the ground, Cook. A solid run on first down, gain of seven, leaves him with a second and three. One quarter done, three more to play here at Super Bowl 57. 
Well, welcome back to the date on the calendar we circle every year. Super Bowl Sunday. Brandon God and Charles Davis here with you as we get set to begin quarter two. Steps away to and he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Multiple defenders getting home there for a loss of 11. And another long drive from the offense, but the defense is denying them the end zone. Nothing to show for the last drive offensively. They can't come away empty-handed again. Cousins with work to do after the sack as he brings his guys up on a third and long. They're going to look to throw. That one into the hands of Thielen, complete. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. It's a pickup of 13, but they're still a bit short, and it'll be fourth down. There's another example what defensive coaches constantly preach, not allowing any run after the catch. They gave up a few more yards than they wanted to, but they were able to get him down quickly and force a fourth down. Fourth down, Cousins. Got an open man finding Jefferson. And he is going to pick up the Vikings first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. We always talk about big time players make big time plays in big time moments. I think that fourth down qualified. That was a heck of a throw. So the drive stays alive after the fourth down conversion. First and 10 inside the 30. Cousins gives way to Cook. And they've got it in the red zone now, down at about the 19. Ezra Cleveland, the guard, called for the penalty there. Cousins. And complete right side to Cook. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. If they didn't have that penalty a moment ago, it would be a first down. Still a nice 13-yard pickup. Seems as if the passing attack starting to heat up a little bit here in the second quarter. You can sense and you can see the momentum because now they're reading their patterns downfield. They're understanding the coverages and they're finding the open holes in the defense. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. A beautiful fake. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. A solid pickup of 12 yards, and now they're knocking on the door. And this pass rush has really been bringing the heat and has already gotten home a few times here in the first half. So how about the play call there? Sometimes if you can't protect, you've got to fool them. Screen passes like that can take a little steam out of what's been a relentless rush so far. Now Cousins. And he will throw this one out of the back of the end zone. It's incomplete. And I can see the officials kind of looking at each other down there, silently wondering, does this meet the level of grounding? Fortunately, he did have a receiver in the area, but I have seen less obvious throwaways called as penalties. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. Up the middle, it's Cook. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That second down play nets a minus four. <laughs> I think sometimes when you're trying to get after the quarterback, maybe it's better to be lucky than great. Because I think on that one, he's just trying to get upfield and rush the passer. Instead, the tackle for the loss landed right in his lap. Third and goal, a big play in this Super Bowl. Working out of the gun, Cousins. And it's caught in the end zone for the Viking touchdown by Justin Jefferson. Ten yards on the touchdown pass. And the Vikings are an extra point away from tying this Super Bowl at seven. 
Good bounce back drive right there through the pick on drive number one. Drive number two leads him right down the field into the end zone. Agree totally. Excellent bounce back. Tremendous poise. Confidence never lost. And obviously he transmitted that to his teammates as well. What a really nice drive. Joseph connects on the extra point, and we are tied at seven. That drive, a long one, spanning 15 plays. And it was all capped off by Justin Jefferson's touchdown reception. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Take it in at the three. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs ready to go again. He was 4-4 on that opening drive, including the touchdown pass, as he'll try again here to duplicate that success, starting with a first down. Here's Edwards Alaire as they will start on the ground. That's to about the 28. Second down coming up. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Throwing on second and eight. Mahomes. They'll set up the screen to Edwards Alaire. And he's able to take this one up to the 35 yard line. That's a nice design there. But sometimes, though, you get so many blockers out ahead of you, they kind of slow you down and force you to adjust. You always appreciate guys trying to help you. But maybe one less there could have turned this into a bigger game. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Mahomes to throw on third and one. He's got his man. That's Hardman. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. On play action, it's Mahomes. Got an open man, it's Valdez Scantling. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. Well, they obviously read man coverage their partner, and he got downfield, broke down the defender, made him what think. What do you mean by that? Bro? Yeah, he made him think he was going to run a different route. Probably thought he was going to take it upfield. And then he curls back inside for the completion. From Viking territory now, they'll come up first and 10 at the 41. Edwards Alaire as they run out of the gun. And he finds a little bit of room, enough for four yards. It'll be second down. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Looking to throw is Mahomes. They'll roll him out right. They'll find Juju Smith-Schuster. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Viking 17-yard line. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. 
Now Edwards Alaire. And he'll be stopped after a gain of only a couple down to the 15 yard line. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big time play? Two minutes on the clock in the second quarter of this Super Bowl. Throwing on second and eight, Mahomes escaping the pressure right to the end zone, but it's incomplete. That's a pretty play there. Got in at the last second, helped force the ball free, and kept them out of the end zone. Out of the huddle now for play number nine on this drive. This is third down at eight. Now here's Mahomes. Flushed out right. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. They'll go. It's Edwards Alaire. And he has the first down before he's tackled at the five. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. So he needed one. He ended up getting three. And I really like the way he ran that one, too. That's really intelligent running because oftentimes a running back could get too greedy. Try and hit the home run on a play where you just need a few yards. Well done there, making sure he got the first down and not worrying about trying to get a touchdown. Mahomes now to throw. And that's caught. It's Kelsey. Touchdown, Kansas City. A five-yard touchdown catch. And the Chiefs have taken the lead. And there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Butker now to add the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. So that one a long 11-play drive. And it culminates in a Travis Kelsey touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Nuwangu now from his end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. And now out comes Minnesota. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. On first and ten, Cousins. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. On second and ten, Cousins. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. Five yards, now it's third and five. If you're running out route, it's likely you're going to end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? 
Toe tap. You got it. The benefits of practice. Toe tapping, foot dragging, picking it up, and making sure it was a catch. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Cousins from the gun on third. Cook makes the catch on the out route. And he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. It's a gain of 11 as the Vikings pick up the first. But they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Cousins again. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Cousins. And this one complete to Smith. Now the Vikings will use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. On third down, Cousins. Complete, Jefferson the target. And they're gonna get this up to midfield. That's a play that'll likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. First down now, but that clock rolling. Cousins now from the 50. And that's incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again, or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. To the air again, it's Cousins. Pass incomplete. They're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half, but the coverage has been tight all game long, and they certainly want to keep them off the scoreboard here. It's been a pretty long drive. This will be play number nine, and they need 10 yards out of it on third. Throwing Cousins. Oh, going for Jefferson downfield. And this is incomplete. Oh, he looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. They converted twice on third down that drive already, but couldn't make it a third. We always talk about in-game adjustments. How about what the defense did there, able to shut them down on that attempt? So on fourth down, Ryan Wright on to punt for Minnesota. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. And with time running down, they go down to a knee. So we've come upon halftime. In the One of the greatest performances of the year usually, but not here. Halftime of the Super Bowl is skipped, and we are on to the second half. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three.
These two teams sat through a longer than usual 30 minute wait, but we're back in action here in the Super Bowl. Taken in at the three. And he returns this to the 22. And the Chiefs ready to go on offense to begin quarter number three. And I think you'd have to say their coaching staff, all things considered, had to be pleased with their performance in the first half of this Super Bowl. Definitely pleased, doing their best not to show it to their team, of course, because as you and I both know, their mantra all season long has been finish. Get the job done. They know how close they are to lifting that trophy. One more solid half of football, and they can do exactly that. And throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, but a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. To throw on second and ten, Mahomes. Open man is the tight end, Noah Gray. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. Heavy set out there on third and one. Edwards Alaire, they'll try to run for it. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. They go play action. Now Mahomes. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. Well, this at least is the right idea. I think they've got to get the tight end more involved. He had just one target in the first half, incomplete. Now incomplete here with the first target of the second half. Yeah, should not stop them at all from going back to him, though. Find him. Find him. Mahomes will try again on second down. Throw left side, complete to Smith-Schuster. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. Couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and 10 up at the 46. To throw, it's Mahomes. Catch is made by Hardman. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. Well, that's what you're looking for when you're wanting to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. From Viking territory now, they'll come up first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Now it's Mahomes again. Flush to his right, and he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a halt. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. I certainly like what he did right there because he smartly wanted to avoid forcing anything downfield because nothing appeared to be open. Nice harmless slide there to avoid the big hit, and he gets a small gain on the play. A shotgun snap and a give to Edwards Alaire. And he's going to be stopped just short of the first down marker at the Vikings 31. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. On third down, here's Edwards Alaire. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. Having met a football team yet that runs the ball successfully, that doesn't talk about having an attitude to be a running football team, right? You gotta be able to put your nose in there, smell where the first down sticks are, and get there. Now they'll throw with Mahomes. 
And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. What would look like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now Mahomes. And he's got it. Touchdown, Chiefs. Juju Smith-Schuster, 28 yards. And the Chiefs will extend their third quarter lead here in this Super Bowl. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give them a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it, keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab, jab, jab. And finally, the haymaker to put that drive away. Extra point by Butker is on target, and it's now 21-7. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it's capped off by the touchdown from Juju Smith-Schuster. After the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. It's the Vikings' turn on offense. We get ready for their first possession of the second half. They make their second half debut here, and things are looking a little bit tougher now. You give up the points there, Charles, that touchdown drive on the other side, so now it's a two-score game here. Got to be careful. They certainly do, and I'm just wondering at halftime if those guys just looked into each other's eyes and realized what they've got to get done and come out a little bit more charged up because if they don't get some kind of points here, that next drive, that could make this a three-possession game. This one brought in by Jefferson. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. He was unable to shake free there. and They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Now, I'm not putting him in the Hall of Fame, but if you look at the great linebackers in history, they all have that ability to innately sense where a play is going, sometimes even before the ball snap, and they're there and end up making the play. On second down, Cook. And he'll take it ahead to the 28-yard line. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he will have a Vikings first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. But give the defensive guys a little bit of credit. They didn't let the deep ball beat them on that play, did they? No, the, the drag. That guy can be your safety valve. We saw it right there. Yeah, and it picked up a first down for him, too. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Cousins now. That one into the hands of Thielen, complete. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Ten yards, and it's good for a Viking first down. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. A couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down to throw Cousins. Open man is Osborne. He's got him. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. Working with a second and three.
to throw is Cousins. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Osborne. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. Play fake. Cousins. And his throw is incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. Third quarter of the biggest spectacle in sport, the Super Bowl. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Second and ten. Off the play fake. Cousins to the sideline, and wow, what a catch there. He doesn't get a lot, but he was able to get the feet down complete. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. He's been a busy man here in this one, and they're showing off some nice footwork to stay in bounds. And with those types of catches and the volume that we've seen in this game, wouldn't you keep him busy as well? I would. Of course. you got to <laughs> keep throwing it to him. He keeps making plays. Got an open man finding Jefferson. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 17-yard line. Nice third down conversion and even 20 yards. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going. And right now, it's paying off with big chunks of yardage as shown by that last play. On the jet sweep, here comes Jefferson. This carry with the extra effort is going to get him stopped up just shy of the 10. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. But defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, and one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion, and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. Running the jet sweep. This is Thielen with it. Two straight runs of five yards, first and ten. Well, we've seen running backs in today's NFL get involved in the passing game. Maybe it's about time more receivers like that get involved in the running game. And that is something we are seeing more and more in this league, no question about it. That wasn't the biggest of gains, but it was enough to get them a first down. And it continues to test the defense. They have to think on every play about who might end up with the ball. Just one more quarter remains in the season-long race for the First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Folks, welcome back to the biggest stage in sports, the Super Bowl, and now we get down to the good stuff, the fourth and final quarter. And it's caught, and he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. Now that's an offensive line you and I can play behind. How about the amount of time they gave their guy to scan the field and find someone open? Had all night, and in a game like this, probably should just put a spotlight on them instead of the quarterback. Cook will score. Touchdown, Vikings. So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game. And by now, we should all realize they're not going away. Now the pressure again swings to their defense because they're going to need to find some way to get the ball back. Joseph connects on the extra point. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. Taken in at the three. 
And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. And now here comes Kansas City. And the tension ratcheting up all around. A one-score game, fourth quarter of the Super Bowl. This is what you folks came for. Every play with the potential to win or lose a title as they look to drain some time off this clock. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 18. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Open man downfield. That's Smith Schuster. And he's going to get this one across the 30 yard line. First down yardage on the first play of the drive. Give him 14. And these guys, sir, they're not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. Mahomes going to throw. Finding Hardman here over the middle. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. An 11-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Chiefs first down. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. And again, it's Mahomes. This one to the right, caught by Valdez Scantlick. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings' 41-yard line. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. From Viking territory now, they'll come up first and 10 at the 41. Mahomes now to throw. Able to find Gray here. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. Ah, that's tough to play zone defense when they can just curl up right there in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we, we talk about finding the soft spot defensively. How do you make sure they don't find the soft spot like they did there? Tough to do because what they normally will do is run routes that will pull you out of that spot that they want to get into. That's what we call not taking the cheese, right? Don't go for the mousetrap. But it's hard to do because when you see a guy cutting that in that direction, you tend to go towards him. 48 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. How about this offensive line? They're really starting to establish themselves, take over this game. And before the series began, I know exactly what was said in the defensive huddle. Guys, we got to get no less than a three and out. Let's get off the field. Instead, they can't find any traction towards doing that. Right now, they're just getting muscled all over the field and getting pushed down it. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. Throwing again on second down. Mahomes. And he'll go down. Brought down at the 20-yard line. And Daniil Hunter, he's the one who gets in there and brings him down to the ground. Yeah, some real defensive resistance there. Saying not so fast to a good drive. They had marched to the end zone the last time out. Going to need better protection here. Third and long following the sack for Mahomes and company. Now a carry for Edwards-Alaire. 
And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. But they didn't accomplish their goal. They didn't get a stop there, gave up another first down. They have all three timeouts in their pocket. I think defensively, you've got to start thinking about using them here. I was just going to ask you at what point you think now's the go time? I think now's the go time. I don't think you sit back and wait because they can take a lot of time off the clock between plays and run three to four and really put you in a stressful spot. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. Well, Zadarius Smith there getting in and bringing him to the ground. Well, that's not how you hope to draw it up there on first and goal, CD, by taking a sack like that. Well, they tried to be aggressive, didn't they? They didn't want to try and work their way past the goal line. They wanted it right there on that play. Unfortunately, it backfired against them. Now they have to try and pick it up here moving forward. On second and goal, Mahomes. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Let's give this defense some credit now. They let the guys get downfield, but when push came to shove, they stood their ground, and now they'll likely force a field goal attempt. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. Looking to throw is Mahomes, and he's going to be dropped. Back at the 15-yard line. A nightmare on third and goal. He sacked and multiple players broke through the line to get him. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. This to perhaps salt this one away. Butker's kick here is good and that will extend their lead even further. So that one, CD, going to make the road back a lot more difficult. Oh, there's no doubt about that. You know they were praying on the other sideline for a miss because now, as you pointed out, a very difficult road. Down two scores. You don't just need a touchdown. You need a chain of events to go your way. You've got to score, somehow get the ball back, and score again. The odds of that happening, not great in your favor. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at... So Cousins and the Vikings down 24-14. Just under two minutes to go. They've come... No hesitation in this situation. Down a couple scores late in the game. This offense is staying out there on fourth. The Vikings going to use their third and final timeout as they get it with just 19 seconds left on the clock. No hesitation in this situation. Down a couple scores late in the game. This offense is staying out there on fourth. And the Kansas City Chiefs are the Super Bowl champions. And their remarkable season ends in the most remarkable of ways. They get to put next to their name, Super Bowl champion. And they can't ever take that away, can they? Nope. That lasts forever. So good to see the emotion when it's all said and done. You see the hugs. You see the guys sharing the collective happiness. Makes me want to carry you around a little <laughs> bit on my shoulders to celebrate the triumph. And congratulations to them. A fantastic season. Thank you.